Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to craft your own Ethernet cable. We're going to start by cutting a few inches of the outside sheath off of the cable. This gives us a good amount of room to work with when we're arranging the cables later on. Once we get that removed, we're just going to trim back the rip cord, so all we're working with here is just the twisted pairs. I like to separate the twisted pairs first, and then straighten them out. And we're going to be terminating our cable with the T568B standard. And this is the recommended standard to make sure that the cables can operate at the optimal speeds. I'm going to put a diagram up on the screen so you can see exactly how to terminate this end. So now that my cables are all arranged and they're nice and straight, I'm going to trim this back so it can fit into the connector. Once the cables are seated inside of the end, we're looking for two things here. The ends of the cables are all seated where they belong, and that the RJ45 connector has some sheathing to grab onto when I crimp the connector. These connectors are a one-time use, so if you make a mistake, you will need to cut the end off and try again. Fortunately, these connectors are inexpensive, and they can be found almost anywhere. You can purchase them straight from us, or grab them from a home improvement store. If everything looks good, go ahead and crimp the connector down. I like to give it a quick inspection, making sure that all the ends are fully crimped down and seated where they belong, and make sure that we're following that T568B standard. Repeat these steps for the other side, and you're all set.